Phil, is obviously, especially after you guys performed as well you, as you did in the first half, just, I mean, how much does this, this one sting after the kind of performance that you had to put that game in the position where it was? Uh, yeah, sucks. Um, I thought, you know, we played played well for uh, good periods of time. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely a tough one. Um, especially, you know, we had a lot of energy. The guys came out, um, you know, defending well, r running well. Um, and we just, yeah, we just didn't didn't have in that fourth quarter, you know, didn't have enough. Andrew, uh, Andrew, can you take us through just the last possession against Drew and what you saw there? And, and was it just a great player making a great player? Or what was your view of it? Uh, I was trying to get a shot up. He got in front of me. I lost the ball, slip, turn. Yeah. Um, I, I guess just for either of you, obviously, it was clear it is trying to get force in that first half, try to get to the paint. Um, just kind of how do you see it go in the second half when they're able to come back? Um, I, I thought they, yeah, we did a good job in the first half. Second half, um, uh, not, not as much. Um, and, and yeah, like they, they made runs and, and weren't able to just kind of like come back and, 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 and have that same intensity. We had a couple of turnovers. Um, and um, yeah, like against a team like that, you know, like no lead is safe. So we gotta we gotta play well till the end. For either of you, uh, Rick was just up here and said a couple of things, but among them was um, he said the Pacers are going after them, meaning the Celtics in Game Four. Was was that the message or the talk amongst you guys in the locker room immediately after? The Wait, what happened? Oh, Rick said that you guys are gonna go after them oh. in Game Four, meaning the Celtics. Okay, yeah, no, I think we, we, it's, a, it's a must game, must win for us. Um, we we got to give everything that we have. Um, obviously, um, to this point, we, we've had an incredible season, and, and like nobody, nobody wants to see it end. So we, we're going to fight to the end. And, um, you know, I think the guys, for us, is just let's get one game, you know. Like, we, we can't look ahead. Um, whatever is in front of us, like, don't matter. Um, we got to focus on the, on the next game and um, give everything that we have to, to win that game. Pascal, you guys were crushing them in the paint. What did you see from when they went small that you liked that you could take advantage of? Um, I think it's just, just getting to the paint. You know, that's something that we, we, we can do well. Um, we just got to keep continue, continue to do that, hammer that, um, and, you know, just keep doing that. Drew, you've obviously been in a position a few times before of having to, to play the point and, and run the show when, when Ty's been out. Just, uh, you know, how have you seen yourself grow in all these? And what did you feel about, you know, what went well tonight? Obviously, you had 32 hits and big shots, obviously, before that last minute. What did you like about what you were able to do running the offense and getting downhill? Um, I think I think I just wanted to get the, get the pace going. I think I think we play best when everybody's touching and we're all moving and we're playing kind of our Pacers hoops and I, I just wanted to not necessarily force the issue but just let it come to me a little bit. So you guys are up eight-ish I think with two and a half minutes to go. What to you in those final couple minutes was the difference that got them over the hump? Um, yeah, I, I thought they got stopped with you know and I don't know the end you know they, they scored timely baskets um, you know big shots from them um, and and you know, I thought I thought we played well obviously you know you can you can argue you know calls here call there but at the end of the day um, yeah, we just didn't get the job done at the end. Drew, you and TJ um, obviously had big games in the backcourt tonight. How much confidence has he instilled in you? What have you learned from him just about how to grow as a point guard? Learned a lot from TJ. Just um, ever since I got here, he's been super supportive, always pushing confidence into me. Um, I've learned little things of how, to, how he gets to his spots and how he plays with pace and how he just doesn't let the – people force him into anything he doesn't want to get into. So um, I, I've learned a lot from just observing um, and seeing how he gets things done, how he goes about himself every day. Pascal, that was a, kind of a breakout performance for Drew. Uh, I know not the ending you guys wanted to have, but what, what have you seen out of him uh, in the time you've been with him, and, and what do you see in his future? Yeah, no, I was proud of his growth. Like, I think just um, it's, it's a tough game when, you know, uh, our starting point guard is, is not is not in the game, and um, you learn that before the game, and 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 it takes a lot of just maturity and um, growth to be able to step in there and, and and play the way that he did tonight. He was incredible, like uh, controlling the pace of the game, um, getting people to their spots. Um, 
And, you know, like I think that's something that he's always been able to do. And I think that, you know, every time that he has that opportunity, he showed it. Um, and tonight was, was another night, you know, where he just, he just, you know, showed that, yeah, like he belongs and, and, and um, he's a big part of our team. And um, so, yeah, like proud of him. And, and obviously we didn't win the game, but I thought, you know, he controlled the game so well tonight and, and uh, it was a big reason for, you know, us being in the game. Pascal, you've been playing with um, TJ for a couple months now. What is it like to play with a guy who's as desperate as him every night to just do anything to affect the game in a positive way? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I think we need everything that we can get from TJ. It's just his space. Um, I say that every day, like, um, just with, with how much passion he plays the game and how hard he plays the game. And, um, you know, he's he's one of those guys that you want to have on your team. Um, and, and when he plays against you, you know, he's, he's annoying. So um, I think it's the way he plays the game and, and the, the pace that he brings to our team, you know, is, is something that, um, that we really need. And, and um, yeah, like I'm, I think I've watched him, you know, before and just being on his team now, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome what he does. After the first two games, Miles had kind of talked about how he thought he could do better in those situations where he's going to get a chance to post up against a smaller player. Just what do you see from him tonight to, to maybe help settle you guys and get you guys going to start? Um, I think he did a good job in transition, just where we was on him, just getting right to the front of the rim um, and creating that uh, that advantage. I think um, him putting that pressure on the defense allows everybody to kind of flatten up the floor and it, it gives more space for everybody on the perimeter. And um, he did a good job of establishing that earlier. Paul, 